I understand how incredibly overwhelming it can be for a beginner to start with landscape painting. And it is with silhouette painting that I learned brush techniques to form any foreground elements without getting lost with the details. Like these examples I am showing you, we are going to create a simple landscape with silhouette trees. Hi, this is Farsha Baruch and welcome to my channel. Because we are filling up the whole paper, start by securing it onto a board. I'm using a thin plywood as a backing for my painting here. In this painting, I'm using White Knight's watercolor paints. As you can see, I started mixing violet with a bit of indigo to lessen the vibrance. I added quinacridone rose for the sunset color and finally, for the brightest part of the sky, a bit of golden. Now it's time to wet the paper. Painting wet on wet gives that natural gradient, perfect for painting skies. Here I started with the earlier mixture of violet. Make sure to leave some white areas to give the impression of the clouds. As we reach the horizon, we can start adding quinacridone rose with a bit of the violet mixture so that it blends naturally. At the base, we add the golden. Let it blend slightly with a white area like so. I also added cadmium yellow to have that nice glow. For the final step, add some indigo at the darkest areas and let the painting dry for a few minutes. Now that the painting is dry, we can add in the horizon using the same violet and indigo mixture, but with more indigo to make it darker. And now the fun part! we can start painting the trees. I started with the branches, so I roughly laid out the placement of each tree. Then I started painting the leaves, carefully making light strokes for the palm leaf effect. For a closer look, see how I carefully created thin strokes using the tip of the brush. I adjusted this portion of the video in normal speed so that you can see how I painted this in real time. Keep doing the strokes until you've completed the whole tree. Now I started with a smaller tree. I painted the trunk and branches first, then by dabbing, I created the leaves. Continue these two techniques to create more palm trees and other trees until you've completed the composition.
When you're happy with the composition, let the painting dry before peeling off the tape. And there we have our simple landscape painting. Isn't it fun and easy? I hope you find this helpful and do let me know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Till the next video, happy painting!